Marvel's Avengers is down to 1,000 players on PC. Did you ever think you'd see this happen to a Marvel property? A big budget AAA release. More like a big buggy brown stain in the crease of Square Enix's pants, you know what I'm talking about? Spider-Man over here helping people launch a console. Spider-Man PS4 let people fight. Kingpin, Mr. Negative, Tombstone, Shocker, Dr. Octopus, Rhino, Scorpion, Electro, Vulture. They even did Taskmaster better. You know how many villains we could fight in Marvel's Avengers? A month after launch? Two. Two villains. Wow. Spider-Man PS4 had over 40 skins included for the initial purchase. Marvel's Avengers has recolors, palette swaps, but you know what? That's okay, because it's not like they have hundreds of unique looks from comics, cartoons, TV shows, movies to take advantage of for inspiration, you know what I mean? Oh wait, they do. Wow. No timeline or roadmap from Crystal Dynamics, despite desperate cries from the community for any kind of communication about at least what specifically is coming, if they can't answer when. <sighs> What remains of the community, anyway? Deafening silence. The first war table was June 24th, the second war table was July 29th, the third war table was September 1st, right before this game's launch. And it's been over a month. Today is October 7th. No war table, I guess. Disney, you fine with this? Square Enix, you, you're okay with this? Y'all don't, don't care about optics, or... The stain that this game is leaving on this property? To the people maintaining that the story mode is like the best thing ever, let me reiterate something. The forced injection of unskippable live service missions and mechanics compromise the momentum of a campaign that at its best falls well below the worst moments of Arkham games or Spider-Man PS4. A campaign with loot that doesn't matter at low levels, locked skills for supposed veteran Avengers. Excuse me, could you stand in this circle? Good, good. Could you press this button for me, please? Excellent. Could you, uh, could you shoot these circles? What is this, an eye exam? <laughs> The end game grind missions shoehorned into the single player bring it to a screeching halt. You know in Batman v Superman when they straight up stopped a movie and played the trailers for the heroes that didn't get their own movies? That's this game. Kamala Khan meets the Avengers is an okay game, but this is not a good Avengers game. Sorry. It's already out there though, so take it or leave it, right? I guess everybody's leaving it, you know what I mean? Why do I still care about it? Uh, because the universe interested me? Because the stories and the characters resonated with me? Because it was an experience that I could share and cherish? A journey through decades of movies and TV shows meticulously and thoughtfully executed. This game though, not so much. It doesn't really count, you know? It doesn't, it doesn't get to count as far as I'm concerned. I would, I would sooner accept fan four stick than this game. If this game didn't have its combat and skill depth to keep it afloat, to be its figurative life preserver, this ship would have sunk and no one would be playing this game. Everybody's already done talking about it, so what do I want? If I'm being honest with myself, do I want a better game? Updates with heroes and content more frequently than once a friggin' month? The problem isn't even necessarily the schedule, if I'm being honest. It's the schedule on top of the non-existent content. One hero a month, that's not so bad, but actually the next two months are archers? Whoa, 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 whoa. This is dry, boy. I feel like eight launch heroes would have been a better number, okay? Like if you put Black Panther and Captain Marvel in this game, that would be something of a wheel for us to run on, even with all of these bugs. But we got six heroes and two villains. Oh my God. Maybe that wouldn't be so bad, but then there's no Marvel locations. Maybe that wouldn't be so bad, but we're fighting just robots. Maybe that wouldn't be so bad, but the loot is garbage. I'm talking straight doo-doo across the board. What kind of looter doesn't have things that most of us are chasing? There's no like specific exotic gear that we get in, and somebody brought this up on the Reddit that gives us this feeling where it's like, oh, we finally got it. 
Destiny nailed that six years ago. They put the Galahorn in their freaking shop with one of the vendors named Zer. He was giving that away, bro. But everybody didn't know what the hell they were dealing with, so a lot of people didn't get it. You don't have anything like that in this game, you know? You don't have dope skins. We don't even have a way to chase patterns in the way of like a repetitive activity to earn them. There's, there's not a lot here, you know? You can't keep people's attention the way that the game currently stands. And I anticipate whatever patch that you're throwing into the game, whatever quality of life, you know, additions or enhancements that you throw in, it may be great. It may hold people over. Maybe it'll stop people from, you know, experiencing a lot of the problems that they have right now. But will it be enough? You're also showing us that you're planning the murder, even the hope of beautiful skins moving forward. Because men can be shirtless and sexy, but women wearing a leotard is inherently sexual. Square Enix doesn't think so. So can you stop ruining these skins? Six heroes, two villains, no Marvel locations, only robots, no crafting or recalibrating for actually good loot, ridiculously few outfits, and no way to farm patterns for them. A 40 floor bucket of repetition. You can't even play with your friends. Can you wake up? Can you wake up? You broke your own hamster wheel. The game's dead, mate. It's dead. You killed it. Put it. Put the Simpsons gif on here. This is how it's. it was released too, okay? This is how people will remember it. Losing progress, losing resources, falling through the map, enemies spawning outside of the map, reloading checkpoints, terrible loot drops for the two to three hour solo endgame activity in your multiplayer game. But even all of that wouldn't be so bad because some of the people gargling the balls of this game would tolerate it if you just communicated with them, but you can't do that. This is a spit in the player's faces. You not addressing people's concerns is the height of disrespect. And you know how angry it's making people because you can see it on the subreddit that you claim to be in and out of. You can't possibly assume that they'll just come back when the content drops. Not with the taste that you're just putting it right in their mouth, baby. They gonna come back for archers. They gonna come back for another robot factory. My bad, right? Oh boy. Let me just once again, for no reason, just for you know, for the sake of me just speaking, I guess, reiterate some of the things that I feel should be in this game. More villains. Did you see that coming? You know, I bet you didn't see that coming. Remember, Quicksilver says that in one of the movies. Do you know who Quicksilver is? Have you seen a Marvel movie? Is this rude? I'm sorry. Here's another edition. You know how every uh, level that we progress past level 50, we should be getting something for that. You know, come on. <laughs> Maybe a chance at legendary gear, a costume pattern, a chance at like tokens for faction reputation. Maybe some random comic books. Not not just one either, probably two, come on. Two, two to three, something like that. You should definitely reduce the marketplace prices. $14 skins and $12 takedowns in a game we pay $60 for. Hilariously, people would probably be fine with this if you offer some damn comic book skins. But you're not. Ain't really nothing going on in your shop. Reduce the prices. You feel me? Harm room environments. How many times do I have to say this? Let us pretend that we can go to Wakanda or, you know, Asgard or something. It's one room. Let us dress the room up. And while we're at it, let us throw in modifiers for them harm room sessions so that we can test out some of the bills that we got going on. Maybe even just have an endless wave in there, you know? If you're going to give us a, a comic book every 10 waves, let us send it, set it to endless and mindlessly play that over and over and over for some comics. Please. Do artifacts need to be, you know, specific to a hero? Would it kill us to, to just allow them to be shared across the heroes? You got emotes but no emote wheel. You must be working on that, right? Can you hold in-game events? Sort of an equivalent to double XP for, for Call of Duty or something like that. But I think it should offer, I don't know, uh, double comics, maybe more resource drops. A lot of things that we really don't even need. But it's just some incentive to get people to play, you know? So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel, and I hate to say this, I feel like some of you may hate what you're doing here. And you just want to be done with it. But, but why not just be real about that? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, forgive me, I'm so wrong to assume anything based on silence, but what the hell else we got going on but to assume when, you, when you're when you not giving us anything? 
You know these long ass loading screens where you're showing us the same picture of uh, the same images, the same video of our characters in the default skins, not wearing what we put on them. Can we take the pictures that we've taken and put them into an album and make it so that there's a slideshow of the pictures that we've taken? Fallout 76 did this. You believe I'm talking about Fallout 76 in 2020? A game that is doing better than a Marvel video game right now? I... I've made a list. I want y'all to check it twice, but it's delusional. I've spoken for long enough. The truth of the matter is what we're all looking for. Scarlet Witch, Vision, Ant-Man, Wasp. All of these badass people we're looking for. Doctor Strange. We're gonna be waiting for over a year to get and that's if support is even extended that long I'll keep following this but what is there to follow holy hell